What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to more Bust to Ballers Rebuild with the Rams here on Madden 21 on the PC. That is correct. We are back and we are starting the 2014 regular season. Now, if you guys missed the last episode, the offseason, we completely threw out the old team the big players are gone, except for DeBrickishaw Ferguson. He's still here, but he may be out the door this season. I don't know, because his contract comes up this season, so he may be out the door now. But last season, we got rid of Reggie Bush. We got rid of Ted Ginn. We, we cleaned house with all the older guys that were not super old, but they, were, they weren't really helping us because we missed the playoffs this year. And I'm not expecting us to make the playoffs this year because we've cleaned house and now we are a worse team than we were last year, which I was thinking we were going to defend our Super Bowl championship and make the playoffs, but we did not. So we cleaned house. We have... More young guys starting. We got Trent Richardson as our number one running back, so that's going to be an uh, interesting experience this season. I'm super excited to see what happens. If we can get a number one pick, that would be amazing because then we could use it to get maybe Jameis Winston because uh, we all know that he's a bust, so he could be our new quarterback instead of Mark Sanchez. But we're going to have to wait and find out. Make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. We are on the road to 400 subscribers, so help me smash there. Help me get there by smashing that subscribe button. I've been saying that for a while, and I keep screwing it up. I don't know why. Um, but help me get there by smashing that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. All right, here we are at week three of the 2014 regular season. We are 1-1 one one on the year. But this is going to be a rough season. At least that's what I'm projecting because look at this team. Look at look at this team. We've got Debrick Shaw as our only shining light besides Jeremy Zuta, who is only 28 years old. Uh, we've got Ricardo Lockett and Devon Bess as our number one and two. I've, I only have Devon Bess as our number one because I gave him a little bit of a, con a bigger contract to kind of grow the young guys a little bit better. And this may be his final season, though. Cecil Shorts, Martavis Bryant, who I'm super excited to have on the squad. We've got uh, Josh Gordon, who's trying to grow as well. Mark Sanchez throwing him the football. Trent Richardson, like I mentioned, as our starting running back with that horrible hairline. Chris Rainey, Marshawn Lattimore, or not Marshawn Lattimore, Marcus Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore doesn't exist yet. Uh, in defense, we've still got Keith Rivers and Danelle Ellerby. We started Jermaine Cunningham. Uh, Telvin Smith needs to grow a little bit. We still got Major Wright and then the Marcus Joyner. Uh, this could be Chris Long's last season. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, hopefully, Greg Hardy starts to grow. If he does, he might supersede Alan Bailey. I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe he'll just take over for Chris Long. Uh, George Iloka is still going to be our beast at strong safety. Uh, then we got Shamarco Thomas there. Uh, ooh, Josh Robinson, I'm super excited for that, along with Alford and Bradley Fletcher. Kyle Arrington's down there as well. We, we've we got a good team, but we just don't have a great team. So we're going to have to find out how we do. Uh, contract negotiations, I mentioned to break a shot maybe out the door, and that's because his contract is up. So we may be able to trade him and get something good for him. Jeremy Zuta, I'm probably going to spend the money on Jeremy Zuta to bring him back because we need a, a good offensive lineman. Uh, so, and if we're getting rid of DeBrickshaw, we might as well bring back Jeremy Zuta. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring anybody back. Probably not bring back Kellen Moore. Not Zach Williams. Maybe Chris Rainey. I don't know. He's super fast, so we may bring him back just on that. And he's really cheap. Uh, Josh Gordon's really cheap, so we'll bring him back. Cameron's cheap. Cecil Shorts probably will come back. Cortez Allen, not sure about. Ricardo Lockett definitely is coming back. Chris Long, I might trade. Allen Bailey, I might trade or keep. I don't know. I haven't made up my, my mind yet on some of these. But without further ado, I think it's time to simulate. Uh, actually, no. The college players. I don't know why I keep forgetting to show you guys that. I always do that. So, as for quarterbacks on the... Uh, the scouting report for guys that are bust. We've obviously got these two guys who not really considered bust, but for all the hype they had, the number one and number two picks, they did not live up to it at all. So I'm, I count them on this challenge. Obviously all these guys count on the challenge. So any quarterback in this class, we could, we could consider, or we could, uh, theoretically have on the team now running backs 
Amir Abdul accounts. David Johnson I scouted, but I don't think count. Eh. You know what? He counts. He definitely does count. Uh, Jay Ajayi counts only because he's not really a bust. He's just a missed opportunity, really, because he had a, a couple knee injuries. So I wouldn't really count him as a bust. Uh, but basically everybody but... Todd Gurley, Melvin Gordon, TJ Yeldon, Tevin Coleman, and Duke Johnson all count on this list of guys that we could possibly get. And I got Jolston Fowler. I scouted him just because it's Jolston Fowler. I like Jolston Fowler. Kevin White, for sure, 100% is on this list. Um, Brashad Perriman probably is on this list. Devin Smith. Doriel Green Beckham, 100%. I remember Doriel Green Beckham was going to be like a monster and i don't even think he played in, did he play in the league he probably played in the league didn't he get drafted by the titans i feel like he got drafted by the titans i don't know he didn't play long in the lead i know that uh devin funch is no tyler lockett no who else is down here that we count and obviously like i said the guys that i don't say uh but guys that you figure like rashad green obviously would count on the team uh but stefan diggs no for sure um darren waller surprisingly no Darren Waller doesn't count. But a guy like Tyrell Williams, he does count because Tyrell Williams never really made it in the league. Lucky Whitehead does count as well. Tight ends. Everybody on this list, maybe not Jesse James. Everybody on this list, probably besides Jesse James, counts for the tight ends. Left tackle, not Brandon Scherf. Eric Flowers, no, probably. Andres Peep, yes. Donovan Smith, no. Jake Fisher, yeah. And then everybody underneath him. Besides, I wouldn't count Lyle Collins. He's not a bust. And Trent Brown's not a bust. So guys down there don't count. Left guard, everybody here except for Mitch Morse. Centers... Everybody but Shaq Mason. And Shaq Mason technically isn't even a uh, center. And David Andrews. I didn't see him down there. Right guards. Everybody but Lakin Tomlinson, Ali Marpet. Those guys don't count. Everybody but those two guys. Right tackles. Rob Havenstein. He probably counts. Yeah, I'd count. Everybody in the right tackles counts. Okay. Leonard Williams definitely doesn't. Vic Beasley does. I would count Vic Beasley because he had a couple good seasons, along with Shane Ray. These two guys had a couple good seasons, but other than that, they really haven't done anything. So I would count those guys. So I'm going to scout them. Uh, Mario Edwards for sure. Not Daniil Hunter. Not Trey Flowers. Uh, okay, everybody there. Dante Fowler for sure. Eric Armstead, no. Bud Dupree, no. Definitely Randy Gregory. Not Frank Clark. Uh, not Zadarius Smith. Okay. Defensive tackles. Danny Shelton, yeah. Malcolm Brown, yeah. Eddie Goldman, definitely. Jordan Phillips, maybe. Uh, Grady Jarrett, no. Everybody on the defensive tackle does count except for Grady Jarrett. That's good to know. Okay, we got Shaq Thompson, no. And other than that... Everybody counts. Middle linebackers, not Aaron Kendricks. But other than that, everybody counts. Right outside linebackers, not Kawan Alexander. And everybody else can. Maybe not Jordan Hicks. I probably wouldn't count Jordan Hicks. Okay, corners, not Marcus Peters, not Byron Jones, not Ronald Darby. But everybody else, yes. Yeah. Yes, everybody else. Free safeties, not Demaryius Randall, not Adrian Amos, but everybody else. And then strong safeties, not Landon Collins, but everybody else in the strong safeties for sure. And then kickers, Sam Ficken probably counts. Punters, Matt Wiley or Weil. And Bradley Pinion probably does count too. So those are all the guys that I would consider counting. Like always, when we get to the actual draft, 
Uh, everybody that I scouted is everybody that we have a possibility of drafting. So if you don't see anybody that has a scout by them, then we can't draft them. So that's what, uh, that's how it goes. Let's quickly, before we simulate, get a quick refresher on what our draft picks are looking like. We have the 14th pick and the 19th pick currently. Our pick is the 14th pick and the, the Bucks, we have the Bucks first round pick as well. We have four seconds, three thirds, a ton of fours, two fifths, a six, and three sevens. Okay, so we can use those assets to trade back in the draft, get more picks. Hopefully, those two first round picks are bad because we need to get good. So, without further ado, let's simulate to the end of the season and see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here week 17 against the New Orleans Saints. Look at the record eight and seven on the year. Somehow, we have done better than last year with a worse team but this team is developing it's young so we're getting better we've got ricardo lock it up to a 76 josh gordon's a 67 stephen hill's a 71 cecil shorts a 72 meritavis bryant is a 74 he's gonna be jumping right up there at the number two wide receiver uh actually not the number two wide receiver let me go into the actual depth chart real quick and put him as the number two, yeah number two wide receiver besides Ricardo. Ricardo will be number one, then Martavis, then... Yes, there we go. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see right there. We've got good tight ends. We're ready to go. We've got to play the New Orleans Saints. Somehow we have snuck into the sixth seed of the playoffs. I'm not sure how far we'll get in the playoffs with this team, but if we can win here... Let me check the standings real quick. Uh, that's not the standings. Let me check the standings real quick and see if we lose this game are we out what happens here so here we are we're eight and seven along with the saints the saints are also eight and seven they're in the playoffs though just like us the lions are also in the playoffs at seven and seven but if they win and we lose they would jump us uh for the the sixth seed we would get the seven seed but the cardinals could also win too there's a lot of teams that are seven and eight if one of these teams win and we lose we could lose, especially the Cardinals. If the Cardinals win and go 8-8 eight and eight and we go 8-8, eight and eight, then we could be kicked out of the playoffs here. This is a big one. This is a big game to win, and I don't know if we can. We're going up against Drew Brees, so let's get straight into it. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's go play them Saints. All right, first drive of the game. We got Trent Richardson in the backfield. Let's use him right away. There's Trent Richardson. Let's get him a couple of good yards. Let's see if we can get Mark Sanchez in a groove here. We got to get Sanchez in a groove so he doesn't get cold. We're going to throw on the run to Ricardo Lockett, who for some reason the player model of Ricardo Lockett is a white guy. Ricardo Lockett is by no means a white guy. But I don't know. The, just just look past it. For, just look past it for the series. I can't do anything about it. So what's done is done. And what a catch from Martavis. I just threw that one at him. And hopefully he was going to go get it. And he did go get it. But it's fourth and one. Which means we're going to have to throw this to Cecil Shorts. That is a mouthful of a name. But he, he caught the pass. Giving us a first down. Let's see if we can score big on this Saints defense. This is a good Saints defense. And I completely screwed that up by turning into Kobe Fleener on that one. Okay, second down and 10. We've got Rainey in the backfield. He's got speed. If we can get on the outside here. Broke a tackle, can't get anything though. One yard for Chris Rainey. If I could just get him some speed, like some open space, he could take over a game. He's got that kind of dynamic speed. Uh, Kobe Fleener's wide open there, but the path that he took was not very friendly for wide open passes. We are going to hot route my main man, Rainey, for a smart route. Let's see if we can get this. Fourth down. I've got Ricardo Lockett on my targets. I'm going to have to pick it off. Yep. Oh, not good. All right, the offense has gotten us into the red zone here. We are going to try and score on a Kobe Fleeter touchdown. Almost. Almost got it. But this time we will get it. 
because it's a quick snap. It's a quick throw. It's a quick touchdown to Ricardo Lockett. Boom, bam, we're back in this game. It's 10-7 to with uh, under 45 seconds to go. And we just scored another touchdown to take back the lead. I'm not dead yet. All right, this game is by no means over, but if we don't score here, it could be over. 26 to 14, we need a tutty. And it might be here with Ricardo Lockett. Ricardo Lockett ran an amazing slant route there. We are still in this game. 2.17 to go. I'm going to slant route Cecil Shorts. And we're going to see if we can tie this game up or take the lead even. I'm going to throw this to Cecil, but he got hit on the catch. Cecil Shorts. Oh, okay. It is now second down. 2.12 to go in the game. Down by five. If we score, we take the lead. Which is really what I'm trying to do, obviously. Martavis Bryant gets the first down. That is big, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. All right, the two-minute warning has come and gone. That's all that stands in the way of a playoff berth for the Rams. Trying to get back in the game after missing the playoffs last season. Can we do it? Mark Sanchez, the man who's won a Super Bowl. Gives it to Martavis Bryant. We are on our path to get this W. I'm going to look at Ricardo Lockett down in the deep. And there it is. Ricardo Lockett. Can he get there? Ricardo Lockett, baby. Mark Sanchez put just a little bit too much on it. But Ricardo Lockett caught up to it. Scores. And we all... Oh, we got this. 48 seconds. First down and 10. The Saints are in close to the red zone, two yards away from it. Drew Brees is dangerous. We are up by a point, ladies and gentlemen. Up by a point. That was huge. That was huge. They're not going to stop the clock. They're going to let the clock run. 30 seconds left. Drew Brees standing in the pocket. Keith Rivers with a sack along with Chris Long. I think that was Chris Long. And they finally call a timeout after the accelerated clock comes and goes. We may steal this game by a point. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have just stolen this game by a point. Nine seconds between us and a possible playoff berth. They run in the ball with Steven Jackson, and they call a timeout. One-point game. That sack may have pushed him out of field goal range. It did not. Five seconds left. The game is on the line here. This field goal wins the football game for the New Orleans Saints. It's up, and it is... No good! It's not good! We survive! We survive, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow, some way, the Rams will be back in the playoffs this season. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot... I can really not believe... That we just did that. Oh my god. 31 to 47. 343 yards for Mark Sanchez. Four touchdowns and a pick. Chris Rainey had a good day. Eight carry. Well, not a really good day, but he was productive. Eight carries, 24 yards. Trent Richardson, 11 yards. Martavis Bryant, 10 catches, 80 yards. He's going to be a stud for us. He's only a rookie, and he's already like 74 overall. He's going to be a stud. Cecil Shorts, 84 yards. Ricardo Lockett with three touchdowns. A huge day for Ricardo Lockett. And 118 yards. As for the defense, nine tackles for Keith Rivers. A big sack on that drive along with Chris Long there. Whew, that was a big drive. We didn't pick off Drew Brees, but that was a huge sack on the play by Chris Long and Keith Rivers. Nothing really on the kick returning and punt returning. What a game. We won by a point. We absolutely stole this game from the Saints. And we secure a spot in the playoffs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we will do the playoff special. We haven't done one of those in a, in a minute, have we? The 2014 playoff special is upon us. We are going up against the 8-8 eight eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the wild card round can we do it this is a quick look of the playoff bracket before we finish the episode the bears are the one seed and the chargers are the one seed on the afc side 
we got a we got a tough road ahead. The 49ers beat us beat us both times this season. So if we end up playing the 49ers, we could be in for a, a, a doozy. I think we can beat the Bucks, the football team, and the Packers, and probably the Lions. But I don't think we can beat the Bears and the 49ers. So we are going to be in for a tough one. Make sure you guys don't miss that episode. Smash the like button, notification bell. Hit that subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. We're on the road to 400 subscribers. So help me get there by smashing that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.